Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Wow, Ethereum has already broken above yesterday's high, um, but has not broken above micro resistance yet. So we want to talk about the different options. Let's talk about the short term bullish and short term bearish scenarios. Bitcoin has also broken above yesterday's high, but also hasn't invalidated um, a possible downside setup. But um, yeah, obviously we see a little bit of upside today is quite a friendly day. So we are still watching potentially for the development of a first five wave move up for which Ether only needs to reach 3,281 um, at least to fulfill the minimum requirements for a five wave move up. Now, Bitcoin has a slightly different structure and Bitcoin actually needs to go a little bit higher. So I'm not sure basically Bitcoin would need another four or five pattern afterwards. So I'm not sure if Ethereum is going to make it with just one more high or if we need another higher low and another high high. But we'll we'll see. Let's first see if the price can break above the Thursday high. Now I'd say we'll start with the short term bullish scenario, which is um, first of all based on the idea that a larger degree fourth wave correction, which started in March, completed here on the 5th of July, very, very long correction. Um, obviously the idea is that this was a um, an ABC structure. I go to the one hour chart, you see it better. Let's just load it, get it loaded, there you go. So A wave down, a B wave up into the end of May highs, and then a C wave down. And this, you know, could have bottomed on the 5th of July. And um, so, and you know, see, this is, um, this is where we say it could have bottomed. It could have bottomed, but the price action from that low is definitely not impulsive. This first bit maybe, but obviously the rest isn't. So it it means it could be something like an ABC structure or a WXY pattern here that's actually unfolding. So we shouldn't be too excited, even if we make one more high because yeah, I would I would really like to see a clear five wave move. Um, if you if you look at this structure here, in the white count, in the white count, we're dealing with a one two, okay? And we could say just purely by looking at fib levels, this here could be a third wave. And then the reason is it reached the one point three eight extension, but. To really call this here a fourth wave, and I will take it out now, I need actually a bit more of a healthy fourth wave. I would want at least another test of support. See, the wave two is quite substantial. I mean, this can't really be a fourth. I mean, okay, it can. I leave it there with a question mark. I leave it there with a question mark. But actually, I just want to make sure it's clear that we need to have actually a more healthy fourth wave. So that means it could be the risk is that this is all still a third wave that's unfolding because that's the count that we're dealing with on the Ethereum, uh, on the Bitcoin chart, yeah? But let's see. In the short term, let's say the short term bullish count, this is the support region. So we, we did say we can focus on higher in the white count as long as we are holding the orange support region between 2,968 and $3,061 because that's for a fourth wave, the support area. Um, so we could easily test that again. Yeah, until we get a breakout, this support area is relevant for the white wave count. And the next upside targets, if we continue to push higher, break above immediate resistance, which is between 3,134 and 3,182. Uh, if we break above that resistance and break above the Thursday high, which formed at 3,220, very close to the 1.38 extension, typical minimum expectation for a third wave. The next target is the 1.618 extension at 3,281. And then just above that, we've got the next resistance level at 3,307. So five waves should minimally reach the 1.618 extension, better, higher. But obviously the problem would be with that shallow wave four. So if we go there straight away, then I would probably say that all of this is part of the third wave because that's how Bitcoin is showing me the count as well, right? But that's short term bullish. So short term bullish, we can say we focus on higher against 2,968 support. In the short term bearish count, we have reached a top in wave four, in yellow wave four. 
But the move down looks more like a three wave move. I put I put that on um, onto uh, Discord earlier today that I said, okay, we have a downside setup, but it's less reliable than Bitcoin's, but even Bitcoin is pushing above yesterday's high. It could still be a one two setup, but then it would be a diagonal pattern to the downside. And we need to see sort of a break of support to really confirm that. Um, minimally a break below the Friday low that formed at 3049. And obviously, I mean, if even if we push any higher than that, it could still be a larger way for, okay? And, and the, again, the reason is, as I just explained to you, all of this might also still be a third. So we might only have three waves up. So it could simply be an extension of the fourth. I don't, I just don't trust it to have bottomed already. I mean, it would be great, right? Um, bear in mind the white count, okay? If you're wondering, the white count five waves up would be the first confirmation that we've actually bottomed here. I, I don't, you know, on the 5th of July, I don't at the moment have any confirmation that we've bottomed. Instead, all I can do is give you some support levels to watch and so far they are holding, but Ether doesn't really wanna follow through on, a, on the bearish short-term setup. So we might see one more extension. The way it's behaving, I could definitely see a push above resistance and possibly a push towards the 1.618 extension here on the weekend. However, um, if we break below the Friday low, then we could test the orange support region for a wider way four and then make another attempt for a rally. But that might take the entire weekend to play out. Um, instead, if we push higher more directly, then you have 3,281 level to watch and 3,308. Ether chart is quite messy. I find some of the altcoin charts even clearer at the moment um, here on the shorter time frame. But I think the main message here is if we push higher directly, I wouldn't call that clearly a five wave move yet. Yeah, I will probably shift them around. It, it just doesn't have the right look for a five wave move. Okay, the third did the minimum. Yep, the fourth touched a 38.2 retracement. And if the fifth can get to the 1.618 extension, it would definitely be an alternative to say we've reached five waves. But yeah, I'll put that in writing as well for Discord members. But that's my idea about Ethereum. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.